In this video, we'll take a look at how to estimate the cash flow of an asset when you have your book value exceeding the estimated resale value. So to take this example again, you have a cost of machine uh, $3,300. It costs and it produces a revenue of $5,000 every year of which uh, cost of goods sold is $3,000. And uh, you can depreciate it over 10 years at a straight line basis. And so it's $330 of depreciation every year. And so your reportable income is 5,000 minus 3,000 minus 330, which is $1,670, of which you pay $501 as tax because of a 30% tax rate. And so your net income is 1,670 minus 501, which is 1,161. But then you add back to 1,161, uh, 1, you add back your uh, depreciation per year 330 to give a cash flow of 1,499. Now. Let's say you want to sell this asset at the end of eight years. And uh, let's say the market value for the asset is $400 at the end of eight years. The book value for the asset at the end of eight years would be the initial value minus eight times the annual depreciation rate. So it's $660. And as you can see, the taxable gain is actually negative because the market value is less than the book value. So the difference between the market and the book values is $260. And when you sell this, it's going to be a loss in your books and you need to quote unquote pay taxes at 30%. So 30% of $260. Of $260. So here, because $260 are a loss for you, you will be saving a tax amount of $78. And so your net after tax cash flow from your terminal value is the estimated rate resale value minus um, the taxes, but because the taxes are negative, it's going to end up adding it. So your estimated resale value plus your $78 of taxes saved is $478. So now we compute the cash flows equals um, initial cash flow is negative 3,300 and the regular annual cash flows is 1499 and i will just copy this for all the years but for your eighth and final year you need to compute in addition you need to add up your net after tax cash flow from terminal value the net present value is your initial cash flow plus npv of using this particular 12 percent interest rate of all these other cash flows and your internal rate of return is all these values at some kind of a guess interest rate and it'll give you 43.21%.